Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with our discussion on osmosis. And uh, today uh, we are looking at uh, water relations in plant cells. So in terms of water relations in plant cells, uh, we, state, we, we stated earlier uh, that uh, the cell sap contained in the sap vacuole of a plant cell contains dissolved uh, sugars and salts. And those sugars and salts are responsible for the osmotic properties of the plant cell. Now in this case, we want to find out what happens when a plant cell uh, is placed in a hypotonic solution and also in a hypertonic solution? So first of all, we can say that uh, the cell sap contains dissolved sugars and salts that are responsible for osmotic properties now let us take the first scenario when a plant cell is put in a hypotonic solution such as distilled water. When the plant cell is put in a hypotonic solution such as distilled water, it gains water by osmosis It gains water by osmosis and becomes turgid and becomes turgid. Turgidity is whereby when the water is gained, it gets into the sap vacuole and as more water gets into the sap vacuole, uh, the vacuole develops a pressure that is exerted onto the cell wall and that is what brings about turgidity. So we can say that uh, the sap vacuole gains water and exerts an outward pressure on the cell wall called tagger pressure. So it, ex uh, it exerts tagger pressure, which is an outward pressure exerted by the sap vacuole onto the cell wall. Uh, the cell wall also responds to counteract tagger pressure by exerting an equal and opposite pressure that is called wall pressure. So in other words, we can say that uh, when the cell or when the plant cell is turgid, uh, the tagger pressure is equals to the wall pressure. 
So a turgid cell, a target pressure, is equals to wall pressure. And therefore, the plant cell does not burst. The plant cell does not burst. So you're saying that when the cell is turgid, the subvacuole exerts an outward pressure, which is the target pressure, uh, whereas the cell wall counteracts that by exerting an inward pressure called the wall pressure equal and opposite and when the two walls are equal we say that that cell is turgid and therefore it will not burst it will not burst on the other hand uh, we can also look at a different scenario that is now when a plant cell is placed in a hypo, in a hyper, sorry, we started with a hypo, in a hypertonic solution, e.g. concentrated sugar solution, it loses water by osmosis and shrinks into brackets or we, uh, we say becomes flaccid becomes flaccid so it shrinks becomes flaccid reduces in size And this process is called plasmolysis. It's called plasmolysis or plasmolysis. So plasmolysis is where a plant cell is placed in a hypertonic solution, loses water, molecules by osmosis, shrinks that means becomes flaccid uh, that is what is called plasmolysis it reduces in size it shrinks right now we are going to illustrate that so we have a plant cell So these are plant cell. Placed in a hypotonic solution. 
it gains water by osmosis. So the vacuole cool gains water and exerts an outward uh, pressure. And then becomes a turgid cell. Or we can say that uh, becomes turgid. So there is tagger pressure. And at the same time, there is wall pressure. So the key here, that's wall pressure. And this is targa pressure. On the other hand, we have a plant cell that is placed in a hypertonic solution. So this is a plasmolysis. So this is the vacuum. The subvacuum shrinks. So, uh, the second diagram shows the water relations in a plant cell. A uh, plant cell placed in a hypotonic solution gains water by osmosis, and then it becomes turgid. When the cell is turgid, the wall pressure acting inwards and the tagger pressure acting outwards. Uh, then when the same plant cell is placed in a hypertonic solution, it loses water by osmosis and shrinks, and it becomes flaccid. So we call that plasmolysis. So that is the end of water relations in plant cells. Uh, we'll have an assignment on the same. So the first question, uh, what is plasmolysis and turgidity? And two, distinguish between tagger pressure and wall pressure, as we have explained. So we'll stop there for today. We'll continue next time. Goodbye. <laughs>